I cried. Like, I was literally, like, in tears, like, because I left Walmart thinking, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, how am I supposed to feed my child? That's the reality for a lot of parents right now looking to buy baby formula for their children. All across the country, store shelves are sitting bare where baby food and formula should be. And those parents across central Illinois are wondering what they're going to do if they can't buy food for their children. WCI3, Sarah Lehman has visited some of those stores. What did you see, Sarah? Yeah, Jennifer McLeod, some stores were better than others, but I was mostly met with empty shelves like this. Some places even had a limit on how many cans or items one person could buy. It's leaving moms and dads everywhere worried. The cry of a baby could mean many things. They need a diaper change, a nap, or just need to be fed. But what if the one thing you need to make that bottle is nowhere to be found? I just, I can't find it. Mm -hmm. It's, it's crazy. Families across the country, state, and central Illinois are facing shortages of baby formula. I had went into Walmart and like CVS and like Walgreens. I even went on Amazon and I could not find anything whatsoever. Like my son had like one or two, maybe two cans left. And I was like freaking out because how am I supposed to feed my kid? From one store to the next, and then from one city to the next, and even into Indiana, she struggled to find the specific formula her son needs, or she says any formula at all. Like it was just gone, and I was like, what in the world? How does that happen? It happened after a major recall of three giant formula brands on top of supply chain issues. That left families switching to other brands like Infamil and leaving those who were already relying on the brand empty-handed. My son has a milk intolerance, and that's the only formula his stomach can digest and not have a bellyache or, like, spit up a lot, unfortunately. Unfortunately, that is the only thing he can really take mm -hmm. without having issues. And wondering when this could end. When it's gone and if there's nothing back on the shelves, I, he, my baby's got nothing. Mm -hmm. And I just, I don't know what, to, what else to do. Now, Infamil, the formula that she uses, has a message on its website that says they've increased production and are working closely with distribution channels to get products out quickly. The biggest piece of advice people like Baldwin and other families are getting is to contact their pediatricians. She says right now they're just working with what they have the best way they can. Back to you. All right, Sarah, thank you.